What's that shiny thing in the sky? Uh, it is the sun. Ah, I didn't say And it is shining it's bright for, for you and me. Good morning, everybody. You know what? Not a day goes by where I don't think about people who are watching us inside hospitals. You know, someone's watching us right now. In fact, we got, just got this picture tweeted to us from Gary, who says, now Gary didn't even mention his wife's name, <laughs> but he said, we are waiting right now in the waiting room, or we're waiting in our room for the arrival of our new bundle of joy, and we're just watching Aww. breakfast television. So, see, now uh, Gary's got a decent screen there, and you know, in yeah. some hospitals, they have the new wards, and you'll see the, the lobby or the family waiting area will have a really nice screen, but then you go into the room, and it literally takes you back in time. It's almost, it's the tube TVs. All right, so breakfast television viewers, stop what you're doing, okay? And I know somebody knows somebody who can help us out. Uh, there is a young gentleman, uh, his name is Ryan, at Sick Kids Hospital here. He He's having a hard enough time right now fighting for his life. He, he was... Um, uh, his liver is failing, his kidney is failing, he's actually getting a liver transplant, he's in line for one right now. Uh, he also has been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. So he said he got transferred down here to the transplant section of Sick Kids Hospital, and he goes, he has to spend every day in here for of weeks. Course. Great, you know, and thank you very much for allowing us to, to, to come into your environment too. I went in last week to see him. But look at what he has to watch for all that time. This old fashioned tube TV, VHS machine. VHS machine. The, this is really old technology, and not only is it old technology, you can't play some DVDs on it. The the, the color on the set is horrible. It's terrible. So this is what he's done. He wants to leave a legacy. He's actually turned 18. He has to go over to TGH now because he's now no longer eligible to be in sick kids. Right. But he wants to do something for the kids in the transplant area. He wants to get enough money together to get new TVs and new Blu-ray players for every room in the transplant section and it's he wants to he has a GoFundMe account and he wants to raise some money so let's hear first of all what his dad has to say about about this you know when you think there's only a link with the, the outside world is physically either the window outside to have a look outside or he goes on to his favorite TV show he's got all the media channels which at the moment he looks through this small little tiny box that you see behind you, and it's just very difficult for him. And so what he's done is he's started a GoFundMe account. He wants to raise $15,000, and that will outfit every room in the transplant area with a brand new TV, a DVD player that can play Blu-rays, and the, the brackets that go with it. And you may, you, you really have to realize how important this is mm -hmm. to people who have nothing to do all day long they're they have to stay in that room they're unwell they can't really move around a lot and that makes a difference and it helps pass the time and it keeps them engaged with films that they love so how do we find this fund me account i mean how i don't know how that the works the go fund me account basically a winston we put it on our website how do people find it on our website? Something that can be difficult. At breakfasttelevision.ca, under the show notes link, uh, you'll, you'll find this link that you see on your screen now. There's a donate now button. You click it and you can donate as much as you want. Uh, and they're five thousand dollars in right now. And if you can, you tweet out that tweet out the address as yeah. well. Please. We'll tweet out the link. And if there's anything you can do to help us, let us know, and we well, can try to can make the connections happen. And also, if there's anybody watching who can pull some strings, you know, in those big uh, TV stores TV where World. they sell tons of screen, TV World. LG, cough, yes, <laughs> Samsung, cough. <Samsung. laughs> All those things, they can come together and they can help out as well. And then that money can go to other things at the hospital. Yeah. It. Each each package will cost about four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Um, so if, if you want to help with a GoFundMe, I know viewers will. But like you say, if there's someone out there who just wants to skip the middleman and say, you know what, yes. I'm going to provide all those TVs, all those Blu-ray players, we're going to give you a huge shout out here on Breakfast Television. Or but, what if you have like four TVs and you don't even use one of them and well, it's such a waste? They have, they have to be new. They should be new because oh. these are going to have to last for years. There's also things we have to go through with the hospital when it comes to donations. Everything has to be to, to a certain standard. So at, the, at this point, you know, we just want to raise that money. If we can't get someone to help out, I'm sure that all the people watching out there, we could raise fifteen thousand dollars. Yep, for sure. Well, they're already easily. a third of the way in. So once again, right. we're going to tweet it out at BT Toronto. I'll retweet it. You can retweet it. You, you folks, retweet it as much as you can, but also go and donate to this account, and we'll keep an eye on it and let you know how it's going. Good morning going. to everybody watching from hospitals. And Ryan, you rock. We'll be right back on Breakfast Television.